we wanted to put together just a short 10 minute documentary to take you into a little bit of the background, the development on the ground here in Australia and New Zealand in creating this very important new range of diesel. And you know, apart from the introduction of the Zeus Platform Ranger in 2018, I actually don't know that there's ever been a more anticipated release of an ORV vehicle from Polaris in this part of the world. We have different demands, harsher environments. The Australian and New Zealand customer is different to the US Ranger user. As weird as it sounds, we actually work them harder out here and we want to service them less. It's a bloody tough ask and Polaris listened, but even better, they acted. So let's now hear from the guy that headed up this whole process, Eric Nolt, Polaris's Director, International Off-Road Vehicles. The journey began about two years ago and we spent countless hours in the field talking to dealers and customers in each of these countries. We spent time using the products with our customers to understand what the day in the life of, of a Ranger Diesel was for them. To understand the duty cycle, engineers instrumented vehicles in each of the country to collect data that would drive the new specification for our Ranger Diesel. We studied tons of service and warranty data to help us focus on the most important improvement areas for the next Ranger Diesel. My name is Scott Kane. I'm a powertrain project manager uh, for Polaris and I work in the ORV department. Uh, we're here in New Zealand to review uh, our current uh, offerings for the uh, Ranger Diesel to understand the current uh, application in this environment, to understand potential warranty concerns we have and what, how we can improve our product going forward to uh, fulfill the needs of the customers in this market. Uh, yeah, I guess um, we had the Polaris guys come out from America um, and want to test out their Diesel 1000 that we uh, own one of. Um, I guess uh, they're looking at ways to make the machine better and uh, improve in New Zealand conditions that it's a, a tested machine. You yeah, know, it's um, quite good to see the guys from the States come out and actually see our country um, and see how we're running the machines. Um, yeah, we've had issues, um, warranty issues and things like that, and it's good to see them actually have a look and, um, and try and work out what pressures we are putting on them. So after putting boots on the ground both here in Australia and New Zealand, to gather data to build and ship prototypes out to this part of the world for real world testing, well, I actually think Eric's statement here is quite a profound one. The direction was clear. So having been conceived on Trans-Tasman dirt, the new diesel integrated into that kick-ass Zeus chassis was born. The direction was clear and best of all, it came from our customers and our dealers in each of these countries. It was our mission to answer the requests for our customers as we developed the new Ranger Diesel. And we are so excited to bring this to our customers in 2019. Hi, I'm Nathan Moore, the Service Technical Manager for Polaris New Zealand. And I'm here to introduce the new, all new Polaris Ranger Diesel. So if we start at the front of the vehicle, it ties into the family with our XP1000 HD with the all new steel front bumper. We've got our completely sealed suspension bushes, heavy duty drive line, all new 27 inch six ply mud terrain tyres, all out of the box. This vehicle's also got the pre-filter intakes up under the front hood, so a lot cleaner air intake system, articulation system for both our PVT system and our engine intake. Uh, moving through the drive line, we've got an upgraded prop shaft, pinch bolts onto the transmission output shaft to reduce a lot of wear, and of course upgraded transmission bearings and wheel bearings all around. So what about the new diesel engine? Polaris went after the next level of engine performance, reliability, drivability, and importantly, serviceability. And where did they arrive? What was going to be best fit for purpose? Well, the highly regarded Kubota 902 series three-cylinder diesel engine. Now Kubota, established in 1890, have earned a fantastic reputation building high quality power plants for nearly a hundred years. For 2019, the Ranger diesel will come powered by an all-new 24 hour horsepower diesel engine. It's tougher, it's smoother, it's quieter, and it provides the most consistent power and torque in its class. I do, I think it's a lot quieter. Um, it is handy to be, I can put, put, you know, tow a bit more behind it. Uh, engine performance, yeah, it seems it's got a lot more uh, pickup than the older model. Um, uh, seems to have a higher cruising speed. Yeah, we have three 
of the current uh, model range of diesels and uh, the, the big thing we notice is the uh, better performance as far as acceleration, that sort of thing. And you know what? I reckon they got this bit right because we wanted it to go a little harder, pull a little harder, go a little faster, filter a little more of that nasty Aussie bull dust. And I know the Kiwis wanted to get up and down their landscapes pulling loads with more ease. So to pacify myself, I grabbed the new and the old. I put a 100 kilo passenger in the new to equalize the weight of that spray tank in the old diesel. And I did plenty of runs. And this is what it looked like. Around here in Australia, we all know about this stuff, right? Well, let's be clear about the new filtration system. We have a new intake filtration system on the new Ranger diesel. The intake has been moved to a new, higher front of the vehicle location. This is out of the dust, mud, and water. Along with the intake location change, we are now using an industry best Donaldson air filter and a new durable air box that will protect your engine. But let me assure you, this thing is so much more than just about a new diesel engine. For those of us that have been fortunate enough to use this new XP1000 HD on the Zeus platform, well, I tell you, I can't shut up about it. Well, this is everything that is, and then some. Mud guards have been added to the new Ranger diesel to keep the harsh elements out of sensitive areas in the chassis, and it also helps to keep your new Ranger diesel cleaner. Speaking of keeping things cleaner, the new styling on this Ranger allowed engineers to create an easy access panel to the radiator to keep it clean so your Ranger stays cool. The new Ranger comes with an all-new one-piece chassis that is the toughest we've ever built and it provides an unmatched riding experience. For 2019, we settled on many critical performance criteria that are not only better than our current model, but class leading. The new Ranger diesel will come with the highest top speed in the diesel segment at 65 kilometers per hour, so you can get jobs done quicker. We now have 33 centimeters of ground clearance, 20% more than last year, so you can tra traverse tougher terrain without getting hung up. Because I think it's, it's got a bit more cl ground clearance than the, than the old one. Um, and, uh, and then with that, it, it, it certainly handles a bit better because it's up a bit higher. Um, it can be a problem, but I, I found it to be, to be quite stable and, and does a good job. Yeah, far superior than the older model. Um, yeah, you don't uh, run over as many logs or damage the undercarriage as much. The extra clearance just gives you a bit more clearance over rocks. Our key capacities are also class leading. Our towing capacity is now 1,100 kilograms and our rear dumping box is two and a half centimeters deeper, along with a 720 kilogram capacity. The new Ranger also has a huge 44 liter fuel tank. The thing that stood out the most was the towing. Um, you know, you can hook up anything, calf trailers or um, fencing trailer, you know, fully loaded and you don't really, really know it's there. Just might be more torque in it that can get you out when I'm Tying a bit of meal around for the cows and stuff like that on our palm kernel bins, um, and that you know, quite a bit of weight behind it. Riding handling is also improved in the new Ranger diesel with a 13% better turning radius and an industry best suspension travel for the smoothest ride in all conditions. With this new Ranger, accessory integration was also thought out from the very beginning. We have 200 plus accessories available, 30% are new. 70% are carryover, so last year's Ranger diesel accessories will fit on the new Ranger diesel. Our new cab system is industry leading in dust and mud protection. The styling change brought many feature refinements that would delight our diesel customers. Everything was redone in the cab for this vehicle and it has an automotive truck level finish. There is an all new digital gauge positioned perfectly above the steering wheel so the driver can see it. The new seat is more comfortable with two and a half centimeters thicker padding. The storage has been improved by 17% inside the cab. There are multiple deep bins for holding gear in the cab. Two glove boxes, six cup holders, and a flip up passenger seat where you can haul more gear, sheep, dogs, calves, or whatever you want to haul inside the vehicle. It's quite a lot amazing how many things you do carry, little stilsons, pliers, um, quite a lot of little things that you, you need. So it's quite handy having them right beside you. You can have a coffee. You know, your cell phones, it's all that kind of little, it's quite amazing how much little things that are handy to, you know, you want safe, looked after out of the weather, and it's nice to have 
extra storage in the Polaris there. Um, yeah, the, the passenger seat lifting up um, enables you to get um, some good storage down um, on the on the bottom, um, rather than having to lift things up into the back of the into the tray in the back. You can you can just rest things in there um, nice and easily. Um, and then there's probably a little bit more leg room, I think, than um, than than this model, than the older model. Yeah, it seems to be good storage. The cup holders are handy, um, and you can store a water bottle under the seat, so that's quite handy rather than having it in the back with all the other things. So aside from the punishment that this thing has had across Australia, Northern Australia, and in New Zealand, well, I like to give it my own little bit of punishment and torture here. This new diesel Ranger has really hit the sweet spot because this thing, it really is that good. This product was developed unconventional to what we normally do at Polaris. It was a continuous collaborative effort between customers, dealers, Polaris country business leaders, sales, engineers, and Polaris corporate. We made a commitment to get it right the first time or we would not launch the new Ranger diesel. Part of that commitment was to make sure we tested the new Ranger diesel with our customers in their environment before we made the final call to go to production in Australia, New Zealand in September 2018. I'm pleased to say the results and customer satisfaction has been overwhelming. It has given us the confidence to release this product into production and we cannot wait for all of our customers to experience the new Ranger diesel.